It is perhaps one of the biggest secrets from Chanel. What could this be? Mm. Oh, when you see it, when you see it. Ah, oh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. It was a successful visit to Chanel's boutique and I have a couple pieces here from the new 23S collection. Since the moment that I watched the runway of this collection, I had pictures, written notes of the pieces that I want to get and there's a few other pieces. Unfortunately, at my boutique, they didn't have them available, but my sweetest say she's a doll. She told me, don't you worry, I'm gonna keep an eye for you. And if I'm able to request these pieces, I will request them and hopefully keeping the fingers crossed, I can have those other pieces. But I'm just super excited because I was able to get a couple pieces that I really, really wanted from these collections. Now, I went to the boutique twice. <laughs> and I know for some people, this is like, oh, twice does nothing, you know, like just, just go to the boutique, etc. Well, I had it to go twice, but the only thing is that I have to drive like almost three hours. Obviously, I'm including the traffic time to get to the boutique. So you can imagine, you know, two hours and a half, almost three hours back and forth. Oh, yes, it's exhausting, it's exhausting, but also I had to do some other business, things that I had to do in that area, so it wasn't too much of a hassle per se, but anyhow, friends, let's go ahead and get it started because I don't want you to wait that long. Go for the smaller bag. Can you guess what I got right here? I don't think I have commented what I wanted it from this collection. I made a video of my first visit, letting you know what was kind of like what I was able to see at the boutique best of the 23S collection. This is spring summer collection that the reason why I'm so in love with this collection is because it's bringing again the black, the whites, very typical Chanel. And then we see some pastels, talking about pastels. I don't know when you're gonna be watching this video, if before or after, but I should, well, check here on my channel. I will be leaving it on the cards or at the end of the video. I have my review on Chanel's Leblanc collection. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. And if it's not up yet, it will be up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you're subscribed to my channel and with that post notification bell on because believe me, you don't want to miss any of my uploads. Okay, let's see what I have right here. So here I have the first thing. Ah, the little beautiful box. Are you kidding me? Isn't it so pretty? Oh, I... Mm, this wasn't an impulse buy. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I have been eyeing it. Like I said, since the runway images show, in fact, from the runway too, I took pictures and then I was able to see it at my first visit at the boutique. And then I said, okay, let me just think about it. And then at my second visit at the boutique, I'm like, no, I don't have to think about it. I just need, <laughs> just need to get it. So let's just untie this baby and open it up. So you can hear. <laughs> I'm sure, I mean, like if if you know, if you know, you know, <laughs> right? So Chanel right here, let's open it up. Oh my gosh, it's moving all around. All around. <laughs> oh, when you see it, when you see it. Oh, <gasps> is a choker in this gorgeous, it's kind of like um, champagne gold. Now this is not solid gold. This is one of what they call it, I think fashion jewelry. And I know, I know what you're gonna say, fashion jewelry for Chanel is not the best, blah, blah, blah. But I have a choker from Dior and I had it for a couple of years now and it's lasting me so well, I love it. I am very careful the way I use these kind of fashion pieces. I don't spray perfume on top. I don't go into, you know, like 
shower with them or go swimming with them. I basically use it for pretty much kind of like a special occasion. So depending on the outfit that I'm using, but I think it's just so beautiful. And if you notice right here, it has that CC interlock, but it's tiny, it's petite, it's not obvious. It's not like you are wearing a Chanel piece unless you really see it. And it has little kind of like, not diamonds, but little kind of like Swarovski crystals or just crystals. And then right here, this will be basically the back of the choker. You have the CC too, see right there. So these will kind of like dangle down on the back, which I think is gonna be like very beautiful. Wearing perhaps a strapless kind of dress, something like that. So I'm gonna put it on so you can take a look at it and see it. I'm just so excited. Oh. This is just so exciting. And the clasp, just if you're wondering, just a simple clasp. I don't know if I'm putting it right or wrong, but let's see. Oh, looks so pretty. It is super pretty. And the model, she was using it with this kind of like jumpsuit romper kind of outfit that it was gold. I was able to see it in person at the boutique, the romper, which also I got my eyes on it, but when I saw the material, it just looked very metallic-y and it wasn't me, but this is totally me. Isn't it this fantastic? Look at this. So beautiful. So beautiful. Ah, I'm just so happy with it. So, so happy. You have no idea. I know. I know it's just a fashion piece. I could have really well, but not another ring, but some of the year high-end jewelry, but I had my eyes on this beautiful choker. And I feel like, for example, this black blouse, it looks great, but also with white. You know, my friends, how much I love white. So if you're wondering which piece this is, I will have absolutely everything detailed on the description box below. Links will be there, but here it is the tag. So this is from the 23S collection. Like I was telling you right there. Details to me to pull the trigger on this type of piece is kind of like my Dior choker that when I saw it I felt like okay th this is something that yes I want to have it on my collection I don't buy you know you know my friends I don't buy a lot of jewelry that is, that are fashion jewelry pieces I just don't I really love my true solid gold pieces diamonds that's what I like but this choker just it was it, it was it. So I have a second bag right here. Now this is a big bag. Can you guess what it is? So this has a story, an actual really good story. Let's just take this little ribbon out. I love how they package everything. <laughs> what could this be? Mm. Ah, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. So, well, if you have watched my video of the 23S, best of 23S collection, and you made me company to the boutique, you saw the bags that I was eyeing. So I was eyeing a couple bags. One of them was a classic flap. And I have, ah, Let's open it. Let's open it. I'm not gonna make you wait too long. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Jacqueline, open it up. Oh, you have it. Bling. And definitely I will have more close-ups on my Instagram and also perhaps even on my TikTok. So if you are in any of those platforms, I will highly suggest you to go there. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Here's a little booklet. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? I think by now you know that is not 
a classic flag. <laughs> it is perhaps one of the biggest secrets from Chanel. Is this cute? Oh my gosh. Isn't it she precious? She is gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I say this is perhaps the biggest secret from Chanel for this collection because literally even when I'm recording this video, I check once again, this bag is not within anywhere at Chanel's website. Nowhere, nowhere. I mean like it's pretty much if you know, you know, but this beauty is called Sweet Camellia and it comes in black, white, and in this kind of like um dusty pink just ah oh, to die for and this is the main reason why i had to go for a second time to the boutique this bag also comes in a rectangular size that is smaller and when i was at the boutique on my first visit i saw this bag and with the same leather a classic flap so you know, friends, that now I'm a little bit obsessed with classic flaps, but we also know about the price increases from Chanel. I felt so bad to just even think about to buy another classic flap at the current prices. I mean, to me, it's kind of like I could buy a pink bag from Chanel from the resale market. I don't need to buy it from the boutique, although, I mean, it's beautiful to have a new bag, obviously. So talking with my essay, at that moment at the boutique they only had this same bag but in black and they didn't have the white one or this pink one they had the smaller size in the pink and in the white and also in yellow actually it comes also in yellow and even like um kind of like a minty kind of shade like green like pastel green right so Talking with my essay, she said, well, it's going to be such a heat bag because as if it is a classic flap. In fact, when I saw it first, when walking into the boutique, I saw it in, in black the second time that I went to the boutique and the chain was inside. And I thought, oh, wow, they have a classic flap on display and it looks so pretty. And then I realized, no, it's not. It's just the chain, right? Um, so anyhow, when I was talking with my essay, she said, listen, they are going to come. I don't know how many, but they may be coming on the next shipment. It's just a matter that, you know, you came on the second day of the release of this collection, so we don't have it. Uh, so what you can do is if you really love, love, love the color and you think that you will be okay having that smaller bag, just take it. And I mean, because you're coming within a week from now, you have pretty much 14 days to make a, an exchange or a return. I don't know if they will give you your money back if you do a return. I think they give you a voucher. I'm not sure about that. I don't know. Honestly, I, I'm not sure. But she said, then you can exchange it if we have the bag. So that's exactly what I did. <laughs> so that's why I went for a second time. And I'm so happy I made that trip the second time to the boutique because they had the size that I wanted. This is to me the perfect size. And I think I did the best choice because this bag, although it is pricey, the smaller size is 5,600 and this larger size is 5,900. But you paid only, I know, only sounds like, come on, Jacqueline. But let's put it in perspective. You're paying just $300 more for a way larger bag that is stunning. It's just so beautiful. I'm just so in love. So in love with this bag. Not only that, this bag, it has an adjustable strap. So it's basically kind of like a Coco Crush, but the good thing about it is the Coco Crush has one of these straps. It, you can adjust it, but it's always dingling outside. This one, it doesn't. It just loops all the way around, right? And then this Camellia, you can just go ahead and press and then adjust the chain like such. It's easier when you're when you have it on your arm, but basically you can just adjust it and make it either shoulder strap or crossbody. So it has so many purposes. And if you tack in the chain inside the bag, then what you can do is just wear it like, not exactly as a classic flap because it doesn't have that feature. As you can tell, it has 
only three rubber mats and not four, but you can wear it kind of like a, yeah, like a, you know, evening kind of bag. But look at this. Look at this. It even has the Mona Lisa style pocket. This is lambskin. It's so pretty. And you know what? Also, the seasonal classic flap in this same shade. What I noticed that is that the lambskin, it wasn't dull, but it wasn't as splashy as this one. And that is something that it was throwing me off. And that's perhaps why it was like two hours and a half in there at the boutique trying to make up my mind. I know, I know. It's like, come on, Jacqueline, come on. And you may be wondering, I'm a lover of the Chanel 22 bag. You know, I have my white one about the mini bags. I decided to do not even, I didn't even look at them. They look so tiny and small. They look pretty but this is the bag that I was after and I'm just so happy I got it. And believe me, I also wanted to take the black one, which perhaps, I mean, if they still have it, I may end up doing. But the only thing is that with Chanel, when you're buying at Chanel Boutique, you're only allowed to purchase one bag per month and a classic flap to a year. I already bought one, my white one, this year, so I still have for one more if I want to, which I kind of doubt, but hey, you never know. The price increases are awful, and talking with some of the essays there at the boutique, they, they were very sincere and it's exactly what I spoke about during my video talking about the Chanel price increases they want to maintain exclusivity they they told me that's exactly what Chanel wants to do they want to keep exclusivity they don't want to see their bags all around town that everybody has it they just want to make sure to keep that exclusivity keep coming with their seasonal bags like this baby right here and and leave the classic flaps for something more exclusive, more if you have it, you have it. And yeah, they wanna they wanna do that. So that's that is confirmed. So what I spoke with you in the video, that's what it is. So if you're wondering the, the style, it is again 23S is a flap bag gold M. They are also calling it sweet camellia. Although here it doesn't say anything about Sweet Camellia. The color is light pink. And this is the larger size of the two flap bags. So this is considered a flap bag. Yeah, and that's that. So, so here's the tag right there. If you want to know exactly which one it is. The details are there. Oh, but yeah, it's so pretty, isn't it? She's so beautiful. I always like a pink bag. I do have a couple pink bags and I love this kind of pink that is a little bit more neutral. They are not like flashy pink. No, I don't have anything against a flashy pink bag, but I want something that I can use more often. And this one, I actually feel that I'm going to be using it, you know, I don't want to say super casually, but somewhat casual. So let's just take this paper out and I will be getting definitely an organizer. Another thing is because it doesn't have the double flap. You have a very roomy space right here. Another very important factor right here is inside. It's all leather, all leather. And I'm saying that because I do have my Chanel 19 bag and inside the interior is fabric. And therefore it makes it more slouchy also because it's lambskin, so it's not too structured. So you really need to have some sort of insert inside the bag. But because this one has a leather inside, the structure is going to hold a lot better. It does have a pocket, as you can tell right here, and then a zipper pocket too. So double compartments, so you have bigger compartment, smaller compartment, and then the zip zipper compartment and it's just so beautiful <laughs> it's just so beautiful and this just makes me so happy it just makes me so happy to have been able to get my hands on this baby and you see I mean like it has the exact look as a classic flap and is 
pretty much half the price of the current price of the classic flap. So this is to me an excellent value. And if you have been eyeing something like this, if you want it in black, you want it in white, black and white, they are, you know, very kind of neutral colors and you like this little camellia, then, oh yeah, I will say go ahead and yeah, I, I think it's just perfect. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. It's not super shiny. It's just, just perfect. And talking about the camellia, the, what is it, 23K collection that we just saw the runway, it's all about what we know. A big trend this year are flowers everything floral and obviously Chanel is going to be using camellias so the 23k collection it's all about the camellias honestly I didn't see any bags that attract me from that collection but there is a pink camellia bag like a cocktail bag a evening bag very beautiful that I think is going to be like the heart bag that everybody's gonna want it <laughs> Just the same thing, but I feel that at least on that collection, I feel more safe. I feel like, okay, there are not that many pieces that I'm like dying to get. But for this collection, honestly, they are just way too many pieces that I want. I show it to you right here. You see the camellia is there. If anything, the only thing that I will say is perhaps that if you don't, if you have a blouse like mine right now that is kind of silky, it may, you know, like whip, kind of like fall. But the good thing is because it's adjustable, I can definitely wear it crossbody and it should be just fine. If that bothers you thinking that, oh, well, if it's gonna start falling on one side, there is another bag that is exactly the same flat bag, but it has the same kind of chain as the classic flap with the interlaced leather. So it will kind of like, you know, hold your bag in place. I don't remember if it's adjustable or not. It does have a chain that you can even flap it back if you don't want to have it. And it has kind of like the same charm as the Chanel 22 bag that is a circle and it says Chanel. I'm going to be putting a picture right here. So that is another bag that is a great bag. And I think that one comes in black and white only, which are great colors too. So that is another one that I have my eye on it. But for this pinky one, this is just perfect. It is just perfect. <laughs> and I'm just so happy I got it. Okay, my friends. And this makes it for this video. This is my Chanel haul for the 23S collection. Like I said, I have a couple other pieces that I'm hoping being that they get to my Chanel boutique and I'm able to get my hands on it. If that happens, wish me luck, then I will be doing another unboxing. Do not forget, I'm gonna be having, or it may be already up, that review on the new Chanel Le Blanc collection, which is set to be released here in the United States on April 1st, but it may arrive earlier. That's why I'm uploading it a little bit sooner because I know that it's gonna be a collection that it will sell out pretty much right away. That's what happened in Europe, in Canada too. So I just wanna make sure that you are ready to go with this collection. And before you leave, I wanna invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you have that post notification bell on because not only you don't wanna miss any of my uploads, but because on my community tab, I will let you know as soon as that collection releases. That's the way that I communicate very quickly here on YouTube. But also come and follow me on my Instagram because right there I post on my stories. Again, if something is back in stock, there's a new collection, those type of products that I'm reviewing. And if you're in TikTok, it would be amazing if you can come and follow me there too. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also share it with family and friends. And if you're not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Goodbye.